If you want to pump your body and expand your mind, there's only one place to go. Mind Pump. Mind Pump. With your hosts, Sal Stefano, Adam Schaefer, and Justin Andrews. In this episode of Mind Pump, for 27 minutes, me, Adam, and Justin do our typical conversational we intro. The roof. We talk about my sumo deadlifting idea that I came up with a long time ago before we talked about it on Dude, Mind Pump. Protein pudding. Yeah, yeah. Protein pudding. Yeah, we talked about blew protein your mind, pudding. didn't it? I am ordering it. Which yeah. is, uh, it's not good for you, but it's delicious. Maybe Doug can get us a coupon code so we can get paid Yellow for this. I'm not going to be the only person that wants to try this Then shit. we talk about squirt. <laughs> and how Adam's dad was a yeah, squirt eater. He was a big it's squirt uh, drinker. drinker. There yeah, you go. Thank you. And yeah. squeeze it's and cocaine drinks. <laughs> I mean, all oh. the regular stuff. And then, then yeah. we go right into childhood snacks. Childhood uh, snacks. Uh, great transition. Mu- uh, how people are naturally musically inclined. Mm, not as, like Adam. Such as myself. And yeah. athleticism, not like me. Then we get into the questions. Uh, the first question was, what is the most breathtaking experience you Take have ever had away. besides laying your eyes on Justin. Burner. Then we talk about uh, that. Why aren't phones allowed in most gyms? Like, what's the big deal? Mm. I just want to take a selfie. Yeah, what, I'm a creep. Then the next question is, what do we put in our kids' lunches when they go to school? This question was for me and Justin because Adam doesn't want kids. He's yeah. selfish. Yeah. Then we talk about what we believe in that many other people might think is insane. Also, this month, enroll in any MAPS program or MAPS bundle and get MAPS Prime for free. If you enroll in a program or a bundle that has MAPS Prime in it already, you're going to get something else for free like MAPS Prime Pro or MAPS Performance. Remember, MAPS programs are workouts that are put together by me, Adam, and Justin. It's over. Remember, in case you forgot. In case you forgot. (laughs) 20 years of exercise experience uh, on training people, we put together these workouts that are specific to particular types of goals. They're extremely effective. They're very inexpensive. You find them all at mindpumpmedia.com. Ba, 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 baran. Ba, baran. Ba, baran. <laughs> That's great. Did you know he was going to hit you with that? Did I know? Yeah. No, I just recognized the song. He got me rocking and rolling. That was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I was telling you. I know. There's, I can't, I can't we're connected. That. So it, you know that I just wish it, you were better. Do you know singer. when I see that happen? Yeah. It's almost like a what if for, I, what it's like if a foreign. Like, it's like you're speaking a foreign language to me. You know <laughs> it's, he, like and droid. Sal always wants you to like to do one that I'm going to uh, get. I'm like, bro, it's like you know what I just realized. What? There's, a, I have a little bit of Justin. I have a little yeah. bit of Adam. Uh, that's it's, why this works. It's as if yeah. you guys had a kid, or as uh, if I had two kids. <laughs> Whoa! I think it's the first mind blown. Yeah, because yeah. I'm older than both of you, so uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. by yeah, like a but, month. Yeah, that would be weird. Two months. Yeah. Uh, man. Ooh. So I've been. You know what I've been doing lately? What's that? I've been uh, sumo deadlifting. Oh, I thought you were going to say sumo wrestling. No, I sumo impressed. Sumo deadlifting. Mm. I actually think that's a brilliant idea, and you should have been doing it a long time ago. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm I, doing it for your all the. <laughs> Well, you got a lot of hip yeah, stuff. You yeah, get a exactly. lot of hip stuff. Open hip, up the hips. Stu- yeah, the hip stuff going on, and I feel like uh, I've yeah. always thrown it in here and there, but I'm exclusively sumo deadlifting for a while. That's Is it difference. after that talk we yeah. had about? No, uh, I started before that. Oh, okay. Yeah, before that, I was already doing it, and uh, I used to. You know, that's how I originally learned how to deadlift, right? <laughs> he, he can't admit it. I just just rolled his he, eyes he at you. Can't admit it. <laughs> I was hoping I was giving you, know you that. He gave. He did. You did uh, give him. That was that was a nice one. That was all right. Yeah, it's all right. I was testing you. Yeah, it's all right. We can add, credit we can, credit Sal. <laughs> he's all. Let me call my girlfriend. You can no, ask he's like, that he's like, way me, before we had the conversation all, like, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me call my girlfriend. She'll vouch for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She's gonna argue. Yeah. Not the it's thought. Like, it's fine. I it's had fine. already transitioned. No, 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 it's fine. I had already transitioned. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. So all I'm doing, all I'm doing is uh, sumo. That's how I originally learned how to deadlift. Yeah. Well, and I invented trigger sessions. So did yeah. you really? How fucked up with that? Wow. That would be amazing. You heard it here first. You heard it here. Whatever. Yeah. I'm gonna. St- <laughs> I'm gonna invent creatine. So you're, so, so you're liking it then, huh? I like. Uh, no, I don't. I don't like you it. You don't like it. No, man. It's different. Yeah. It's different yeah. for me. Yeah. I'm only going up to like four plates, but um, mm-hmm. and oh, you're feels- pulling that much that way, huh? That, four. See, I can pull a lot both ways, and it's not that big of a problem. What I'm doing is I'm I'm going up to four plates, but I'm gonna master how I deadlift four mm-hmm. plates. 
like start low and press when up. Really, and- when I'm when I'm really fucking with deadlifts mechanically and trying to really perfect every everything on it, I'm messing with maybe three fifteen. I don't really mess that's, with because that's more. a lot. That's a lot of weight for you. You gave that plates baby weight. You gave that to me. That was yeah. a softball pitch. Uh, uh, fuck. I deserve that one. Uh, that was good, man. That's good comeback. Damn. Yeah. Did you guys' digestion get messed up from the trip at all? I know we ate the, yeah. like, the shittiest stuff. Yeah. Mine's fine, dude. Oh, really? I'm oh. telling you, dude. After I did those two, yeah, the, you know why it was organic gu- gummies you had? They weren't yeah. organic. <laughs> oh, they they organic. didn't have them. Wow. I got the ones made with real fruit juice, though. Hey. <laughs> the, fruit what, juice. Is, what is such that? Such a great selling point. Can you explain to me what is that even? How can? What does that mean? Organic? Can't like? How is it organic? What is more organic about it than like anything? The like, sugar uh, is organic. The gelatin to make the. Is there a lot of? Uh, is is there a? Um, the color is organic. How is the gelatin organic? What, do you know what gelatin is from? What is it from? Corn? No. No. <laughs> Tell me. I don't know. <laughs> it's, be, it's, fr- it's a protein. It's beef. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's from typically from beef. You can get it from other sources, but it's from uh, animal sources typically. That's why sometimes they'll have like vegan, you know, gummy candies because they make it from another source. Oh, I see. Source. Well, now that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't even know that. They do that? They do that too? Vegan? Je- bro, Jello is made with gelatin. Like That's why when you look yeah, at Jello, yeah, yeah. you ever look at the macros of Jello? Or you ever wonder why is there two grams of protein? How the fuck did that happen? <laughs> it's because it's made out of gelatin. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that is interesting. I've actually never even paid attention to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jello really has two grams of protein. Shows you mm-hmm. how much you know about Jello, dude. Do- what it? I, if you, I wish I would have known that. Why we could, could sell some shit like that, dude? We could make some some Jello protein like snacks. They've already done that. They, oh, they have, yeah, bro. <laughs> you never had protein pudding and fucking Jello and all, you know, all those all those G- no protein never, gummies. I haven't had protein Jello mm-hmm. or protein. <laughs> you have? Yeah. Have you, Justin? Dude, no, I haven't. So St- I haven't even seen uh, that before. So Stallone used to make protein pudding. Remember protein pudding? No. Oh, my God, dude. So protein pudding is made with casein, which casein is what you would use to make. I mean, you can make a like a like that consistency or texture. Mm-hmm. And I used to buy the How fuck out of it. How did I miss this boat? I Bro, don't know. I protein not pudding. either. I'm going to say this right I now. I want to make some. No, no. Let me explain something to you. Sounds hella good. Uh, protein pudding was the best fucking protein supplement I ever had because it was pudding, bro. And it was protein. It was so good. <laughs> like, what a magical pair. It was, yeah. because I was in that mindset, you know what I mean? That I why, needed to have protein on why did Why, is it, why did it die? Uh, can we bring it back? It's still there. I think you can still buy it. Let's Where? See I, I'm going to try looking at yeah, it. Doug, yeah, Doug, try and find us some. I don't, I've never seen, I mean, you don't it's see flavor anybody. flavor was sucralose, though. You don't see anybody marketing it. It, it, bro, well, why, why can't we fa- flavor didn't, it with something didn't else? Didn't Bill Cosby for a minute? No, mm-hmm. not that kind of pudding, bro. Oh, okay. <laughs> right here, right here. Just make it sure. Oh, MH, MHP makes protein pudding. There's a few companies that make protein pudding, but Stallone had a company that made protein pudding. Do you guys know that? Of course, I'm going to eat his supplement. Yeah. I mean, no you know way. everything about Show, yeah, me, look, this. Show look, me one. Look, Show right me. here. Right here. Huh. Show, let me see. 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 see it? It's good. It's protein it, pudding. It, it's not good for you, by the way. I want to mm. make sure I'm clear on that. It's right. always artificially flavored and what the fuck. But back in the day when I didn't know about these things. 30 grams of protein too? And it's a cup of protein. You're going to buy some now, aren't you? I'm so <laughs> going to try this. I just got to try it. Because it's pudding. It's part of my duty as being somebody who's been in the industry and I talk like I'm an expert. I have to do this. It's yeah. part of that. I've never had it. Yeah, it's yeah. for, yeah. Here, give it to me. I uh, should not have shown you that. Now, now, you're now more, it's over. More sucralose and shit. Yeah. God damn it. Oh, no. That that, well, just happens. You, there's none of them that are uh, naturally flavored or stevia or anything? You know what? You might be right. There's got to be one. Come yeah. on. The market's yeah. gone that way now. Shit, I want to sure. buy one. See? I want one. Huh? See? Huh? You yeah. know what I started? We're bringing pudding back, America. Yeah, pudding. Yeah. Pudding. <laughs> <laughs> Jello. Jello. <laughs> did you guys ever eat, uh, do you guys like tapioca pudding? I used to love tapioca. Tapioca? I did. Fucking delicious. My yeah. grandma used to make it, man. Fucking oh, love it. What no. are the limp, the balls in there what are the lumps in there uh, I couldn't get down with the tapioca I, li- I like the, the vanilla that's part. tapioca but what is tapioca from a root I think. is it really it's weird if you think Doug about it Doug dropping some knowledge you didn't know that ooh yeah. Yeah. Doug, Doug gets the Google Doug. master yeah Google master Whoa. Doug today I he's, love it 
He got you. Listen, dude. Got listen. You. Every once in a while, I he like got to, you slipping. I have to. Show, you know, I, I should, have to show that I'm a human. I should lose my seat. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I know what tapioca is. It's if, a root. If Doug, uh. ever, if Doug ever gets you before one of Justin or I get you, he should get to one of our seats in the next Mind Pump episode. We have yeah. to sit. We have to sit out. Like you're right. You're right. Yeah. I want to come. He up deserves with, it. Yeah. yeah. Am I that big of a pompous? Do I come off that much as a, nah, of a know it all? No. Nah, nah, we, nah. we give you a hard time. That's all. You yeah. sure? I think you're just being nice to me. No. Because that's not the only time I've heard it. That's uh. not the only time. <laughs> That's not the only time. It's like an easy, you know, hey, hanging listen, fruit. Hey, if it walks like a duck, it looks yeah. like a duck. It <laughs> quacks like a duck. It's, well, like, it's like Adam's not an asshole. You know what I mean? It's like, no. Yeah. He's not. He's I not know, an he's asshole. Not, I know he's not. He's That's moody. why, exactly. It's so. moody. Moody is the You're correct. You're not pompous. I finally mm-hmm. figured out yeah. it's moody. Moody. It's totally different. It's, I'm, I'm moody. moody. Don't call me moody. Oh, it's, I'm going to be an asshole. No, no. <laughs> I'd rather be known as sound better than yeah. Moody. Okay, yeah. let me ask you this question: you know Is anybody li- so Moody? If I approach anybody that knows you well, and I said, <laughs> "Would you consider Adam Moody?" What would the majority of them say? I mean, <laughs> he's laughing. I don't want well, laugh because oh, I've never heard right. anybody. I've never heard anybody say that. But moody. at the same time, I don't know anybody that would argue it. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was like, "Oh yeah, for sure." He's just Moody. Uh, he's, he's yeah. Fucking, yeah. That sounds awful. What do they call men that are Moody? There's like cool. a different. There's a different term for it i don't know uh, man straight i don't know like, if I like, like, it, like not mysterious but like oh, brooding yeah. yeah oh he's just brooding, brooding? <laughs> no no he's moody <laughs> right now Breeding. That's what it is. Yeah. That's an interesting word. Did you guys ever eat snacks like that, like tapioca for school and shit? Oh, totally. weird stuff. Oh, uh, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just bring me. I used to have like Jello pudding snacks when I was a kid. How funny is this? That was like a big. That was like a treat. Like we were so excited to get that. Like, but yeah, the, in my, a can, right? It came in a can. Or the even the Lunchables. Like I did all that stuff oh, as a I kid. I never did Lunchables. Oh, as a kid, I did all that stuff. No. I remember Squirt. Squirt. Oh yeah. That was, I always had a Capri that was my Sun. dad's favorite drink. Squirt? Oh, squirt? Yeah. He was a squirt. Oh, yeah, that's weird. That's just pure. He's a squirter. That's, <laughs> he's a squirter. That does not sound good. Actually yeah. means something Shout else. Shout out now. to dad. Yeah. Squirter. Hey, <laughs> hey, Google. It, it, yeah, while you're at it, why don't you Google Gross. squirt drinker and see what you find on Google? <laughs> squirt. It's big not pit, what Adam's Big picture of my dad. It's a soda. Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> squirt. Smile on his face. What? Yeah. It wasn't a soda. No, it reminds I, me of booty juice. I, you know what's why? It's uh, funny to me. My dad is the only person I ever even knew that was this, like a big squirt drinker. Like he was always drinking squirt. If he got, if he brought the God, soda, what a home. horrible name for a soda. Who came up with that? <laughs> it wasn't. No, no, no. Not, it wasn't squirt. Maybe I'm thinking the wrong thing. It no, wasn't it was squirt. squirt. It's squirt. It's yellow. Yeah, it's a yellow it's, yeah, it's label. Like and, citrusy. Okay. You know, no, but I'm soda. thinking something different. You're right. That Google is that, a real Doug. one. Squirt. I'm thinking of that. back. I'm thinking squirt on my face, Doug. No. What's that one drink that came in a plastic bottle and you twist it off the top? Squeeze me? Was it oh, called yeah. squeeze squeezers? Me? Squeezers? What? Squeezers? What's that? Wait, was no, it squeezers me? was a restaurant. God damn it. Uh, yeah, no, you're talking about squeeze that's a, it. Wait, that's Sque- a restaurant? Yeah, squeezers. That's I'm disgusting. I'm a, I know, it was weird. It was like a- Are you sure you're getting that confused with scrambles? No, 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 squeezers. It was a thing. It was there it like, is right there. There's squirt. Oh, I got it. Yeah. It's even got jizz coming out of the, the U. No, dear, look at dear look lord at, look at it it's even got like a like yeah, it's, it's like green like blah, like why bukkake. explain yeah. to me why there is that look at where it's coming out of explain that to me because it's a geyser uh, it's kind of coming out of the eye you know. it's a geyser yeah it's a geyser so look at this this oh. is the drink squeeze it i don't know about that this is the one i was I'm talking sure about that's what they say do you remember these squeeze it's it phallic. oh Oh shit! I just, just brought it back. Oh, you yeah, just brought yeah. some Let's memories see. back. What's it called? Squeeze it. Squeeze it. I Remember said that? that? Yeah. Yes, that's what I was trying to talk about. Yeah. Oh my! And it's a plastic bottle, and, you and it's used to twist them off. It was like break. pure uh, uh, fruit sure. juice. Yeah. It's it's what it is. Is it's soda without uh, the carbonation? So it's just it's just it's the just fucking the syrup. Syrup. It's oh, just okay. syrup. I mean, yeah. It was fucking pure diabetes in a bottle. Wow. It's That's called, what we had. I want to I do... We're all about those. Yo, squeeze it. I just remember like Jolt Cola was like the, the monster energy drink. How much day. caffeine does Jolt Cola have in it though? Because well, it, it pales in comparison. It probably didn't have any. It was like so what much pales sugar. in comparison? Jolt Cola, which when we were kids, Jolt Cola was the Red Bull. Yeah. yeah. Right, but I don't think it has nearly as much caffeine. Mm. Oh, they, oh yeah, well, that and Mountain Dew. Yes, shit, they, oh, they do. Is oh yeah, Joel. The, remember, I I brought that one over to the studio when we were at the other studio when we first started in on uh, Lincoln. Oh yeah. That, oh shit. Oh no, that's the energy drink. Sorry, I looked up the Jolt Cola and I want to see the Jolt actual. Yeah, the old school one. Wow, there's a there's an energy drink called cocaine. <laughs> is there really? Yes. No way. Why are they doing this? Can you do that? It's not real cocaine. <laughs> well, I know, but can you really do that? Uh, uh, call it cocaine? I, I, they Drinking did. Cocaine. They I did. Know. Yeah. Can you? Yeah, Going I guess you can insane. do that, right? 
No, Joe Cola, the original. It's kind of brilliant when you think about it. Mm. <laughs> what? Gonna, to name it that, I mean, it's going to get some what? attention. Yeah. Yeah, I want to. It's going to get bad pub, good pub. It's going to get every pub. Yeah. <laughs> Crap. Those kids drinking that cocaine. Okay, so Joe Cola Look at that. Cocaine has energy. 100. Oh, I got to do a post about that. Okay, Joe Cola, 71 milligrams wow. of caffeine. I want to hear what people think. Mountain Dew, 54 milligrams of caffeine. It was banned at one time. Let's see. What? The cocaine, see? Cocaine drink? Yeah. Well, yeah, because of the name. Well, yeah. Stupid. Yeah. Who cares? Idiots. Let's come up with an energy drink right now. Heroin. What? Do we- <laughs> you don't know much about drugs, Justin. I know. You want to be up. I, I don't think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, it's not good. Call one. it weed. Yeah. Weed, weed energy drink. Weed. Weed. It's lemon and lime and weed. Yeah. Are you too energetic? There <laughs> is. Who, who was telling us about a weed drink just the other day? You need to chill. Doug, yeah. do you remember the name of it? I wanted to try it. I wanted to track that down. You know what's um, the irony of this whole thing that's going on right now? Well, uh, the irony is your failure to remember the name of a weed drink <laughs> is because of weed. <laughs> sort of like, like, I'm not even going to try. I wonder, if that's true. I wonder if that's true or not. Yeah. Marijuana definitely negatively affects me- uh, uh, memory. Yeah. For per- sure. There's no but, arguing. But permanently or like... Temporarily. I know you're trying to make yourself feel better. <laughs> yeah, I think temporarily, maybe. <laughs> I think if temporarily you, it probably does. I think if you stop, then you might take some time, but you'll get a, you'll start to notice you're sharper. Neuro, I notice if I have too much. Although I'm yeah. not gonna lie, I could there you guys were going back and forth on squeeze it and I couldn't put that together at all. As soon as you showed me that picture, I was like, Oh my god, that brought back yeah, some new memories. Yeah. I mean we I lived off those for a couple of years. Did you really? A couple so years crazy. off of squeeze so it? Just yeah, as a kid. I mean like as a young kid. Shit. Yeah. That was like our favorite one of our favorite drinks around the, uh, as when we so I was what grade would I be in? Here, I'm going to blow your mind again here with another like throwback to when we were kids. So now, oh. did they eliminate Ice that? Slurpees did they like eliminate crazy. that drink completely or is it still in existence? Can you still buy squeeze it? Uh, I think you might be able to. I think you really? might be able to. But it, here's. It here, still exists? I think uh, I think so. But here's, here's another throwback. This is something you don't see very often. Does everybody remember this? Oh, bro. Eat those oh, all the biscuit. time. My mom still has those, those in her house. Still? Yeah. They do. Yeah. Chicken in a biscuit crackers. And these were crackers no. that were flavored like chicken. Dude, when I was in college. <laughs> yeah. fucking weird, yeah. dude. I would eat those with easy cheese. I don't know if it was. Oh, my God. But I was broke. So. Oh, my God. Yeah. And it wasn't like really ramen. flavored like chicken, though. It was like it a just bo- tasted awesome. It tasted yeah. like a they, they like soup, a- like chicken soup that was salty. The, yeah, exactly. It was probably what good. they just poured broth yeah. on it and then like put yeah. the shit on a. It was hella good though. Yeah, and it was, I, it was I good. Ate the, I ate the fuck out of it. I bet you yeah. how that, that's how that that got formed. Though. I bet you somebody was eating a cracker one day and right? got like chicken broth. on It was like a like, Ritz cracker, and they're like, "Oh shit!" You know, and just ate some soup on it. Yeah, I. Oh, this is amazing. I feel like the guy who pushed this through with for Nabisco. I feel like he had to fight hard for this. You know what I mean? I feel like they were in a meeting, <laughs> and they're like, "All right, we need it. ideas. We need ideas." He's like, chicken uh, and a biscuit. What about a cracker yeah. that tastes like chicken? And everybody's like, "What the fuck? What are you yeah. high?" And he's Everything like, "Everything yeah, tastes unless, like chicken." Unless they were smart, and it was just as simple as this: is they realized like how many people used to dip their crackers in chicken soup, and they did it their whole life. And it was probably one of their favorite things. I, I think you, yeah. And I then think they that's go exactly like, "What, what we should do is we should flavor a cracker like what it would taste like if you dipped your your cracker." It's in the soup. most obvious answer. Yeah. I mean, what about like tomato in a <laughs> like, like it just a tomato this, soup? It cracker. makes perfect sense, yeah, right? right? Now they, have, they, have, they have those tomato vegetable ones. They mm-hmm. are bomb, also mm-hmm. crackers. Yes, those are my other favorite ones. I used to eat. When, I was when you were a kid, I had two crackers: the chicken and biscuit ones, I and then those crackers. The, toma- the ones that were they were they were shaped like vegetables. It was tomato vegetable crackers. Mm. Look up uh, tomato vegetable. No, crack. no, tomato vegetable. I've had those before. Yeah, what are they? Uh, well, no, what I'm looking Triscuits. up right now. Those were like I ate those too. What I'm trying cardboard to, with like flavoring on it. I'm trying to look up all the. You know, it's crazy. These are foods that I ate a ton of years yeah. and years and years ago. I haven't had something like that in. To over 15 years. I thought like... Uh, and it makes me want what I'm talking about. I thought, I thought That's crazy like how healthy. that brings that up, right? Yeah. Like, I want a chicken and a biscuit cracker right now. Just so I could taste it. Yeah. Dude, do you know how good that sounds right now? <laughs> <laughs> I bet they're gross, though. <laughs> I so bet you, they're terrible. You know what I'm trying to do right now? I'm trying to look up cereals, because I, when I was a kid... Oh, cereals. Well, no. but Smells like a stable part of our diet growing up. Oh, dude, all the time. I, I, I tell you what, I, I bet our generation eats worse than this generation, this new one. Oh, I up. guarantee it. Because oh. we were we were brought up on the process. Well, I think that's already yeah. proven. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was all they did to study. Yeah. It's yeah. A, Whoa. It's a, okay, <laughs> Sal. General yeah. Mills and I. <laughs> no, that's. I've read that somewhere. I don't know where I read that, but there's. They've def. They're already. They're. We're more health conscious. That's what yeah, they, the yeah. study was along along those lines. That the generation right now, Generation Z and the millennials, are both way more health conscious than our generation. Well, so when I was a kid, because my information, because my mom was frugal, because we weren't like super wealthy. We weren't poor, but we were. You know, we had to be frugal. Four kids. I didn't get the the. Like the mainstream cereals, like, uh, yeah. I didn't get like you got like fruitios. Oh, we got all the generic. We got all the five dollars. They were five dollars for a yeah. yes, right here. Oh yeah, bro, fruitios. Right remember? Here. Yeah. Remember marshmallow mateys? Yeah, and freaking pirate. You know, you know, pirates. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't that poor, dude. You got you got the real <laughs> cereals. No, you know, I I had yeah. fruitios. That's like a, that should be like an opening question when you meet someone. Yeah. I'm gonna start asking questions like that in business. Like yeah. when I meet the next the next millionaire that we interview and we hang out with, I'm going to ask. That's gonna be my question. I'm gonna ask him is what kind of cereal did you? What, what kind of cereal you grow up on? And then when yeah. he tells me, yeah. like I'm gonna be like, the was real, it was it bagged or did you real, have a box? Right, was yeah. it a bag or was it a box? Yeah. Yeah. Was it a bag that's or was a it was a de- box? <laughs> determiner <laughs> for working for me. Well, oh, you got yours in a box. I'm not that impressed with bag or I'm not that impressed with your company. And the best with these cereals were a box. They would. Copy, box. They would copy the characters even. So like f- like the Fruitio ones or whatever. Yeah, they, they, they had a bird. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, but he was, fat. was a shitty parrot, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It wasn't even a toucan. Yeah, yeah, like, like squawking he, ones. Yeah. He didn't like, have a rainbow like an eye patch. Yeah, he didn't have a rainbow yeah. beak like the like the fucking toucan. No, he wasn't he majestic like, at all. He's he like, like some r- shitty like Yeah, he had rainbow legs. You know what I mean? There was something else that was rainbow. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he was he was just as gay as the other one. He just had legs instead yeah, of yeah, the beak. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, he was fancy, but he was just like. Is it is it that funny? How it was like not well thought of. Is, dude. I think yeah. I love that stuff, man. Yeah, or like, yeah. or like the like the marshmallow the mateys. Fucking one. leprechaun, you know, lucky Bro, charm. It's it's not a leprechaun on marshmallow mateys, but it, it's like a say it's like a pirate guy, but he kind of looks like <laughs> he kind of looks yeah. leprechauny. Yes, <laughs> they should have used the banshee. You know, yeah, that would have been it made more sense. But there is, and this, they did a good job of copying the other cereals because you the taste was Id- almost identical it was you really tell. Yeah. it was but there's yeah. one company that- I think my mom even went on a while there where she'd actually buy the real box and then we she'd put the, oh. the other oh. ones in the box you know what my favorite make was make me feel like I'm oh. really pouring my mom cinnamon the toast crunch <laughs> That was the, too much sugar. CTC, bro. That was the oh fuck you. It was, was the best. That was serious. Your it, yeah, you got. Exploded. I went in. I have yeah. I, I made my way out, but I I went hard. Now what what age did you break the habit of? Eating cereal because I I'll tell you what I was a cereal every morning kid for I don't fucking very long part of my life probably well, close to probably half of my bro, life bro in my twenties when I would bulk part of my breakfast included a punch bowl of whatever <laughs> yeah, cereal like I wanted big, dude. and it was either fruity pebbles yeah. or I love fruity pebbles uh, or it was mm, like pops cocoa pebbles better it was pops or something like that or if I really want did you guys ever eat uh, Shit, what's it called, dude? It was they were hard fucking kernels. It looked good on the commercial, and you ate it like this is fucking gross. Why would anybody what, eat Captain this? Captain Crunch. You what? know what I'm talking about? No, no, no. no Which one? It was, was brown, and they were hard like it was like granola, but it wasn't granola. Oh, and chex was no, mix. No, and it wasn't flavored, and it was dense as fuck. Like you filled up a small bowl, and you're like I can eat all this. You get halfway <laughs> Cocoa through. Cocoa like, puffs. No, they were little tiny specks. Oh, I know what they uh, were. Grape nuts. Grape nuts. Yes. Oh, oh those are terrible. Yes. But sir. on the commercial, when I was a kid, I don't know why I thought they were good. I'm like, those are good. I begged my mom, oh, like, buy man. me grape nuts. My grandpa used to buy those, and then he'd microwave it. You, know, you have, like, you know, I would, I used to eat those when I was trying to put weight on and stuff because they were really calorie dense. Super dense. Yeah, super calorie. Super dense. dense. So I used to eat them with like fruit. So if you could yeah. eat them, if you ate them with a bowl of cereal, but they were still, they taste like shit. Like shit. Yeah. They yeah. Were t- yeah. Like shit. <laughs> like like uh, like uh, fr- uh, wi- mini wheat. So the Kellogg's brand. Or like wheat. Two scoops coming back again for those two scoops and the juicy raisins and the Kellogg's raisin brand. Oh my Damn, God, bro. dude. Oh, no I'm all way. In, dude. I'm all in. No way you got that one Fuck still yeah. in you, dude. That was exactly like the commercial. a ton. I got really? a ton of those still uh, living inside. You know what I want to do? I want to get I want to get my, my childhood best friend, Justin, uh, and you, Justin, in the room together one time and get you both really the high. The battle of the Justin. And get you both really high and let you and, and just go jive back and forth on commercials because I know once you start going, you'll probably start remembering. It'll be the most annoying podcast we'll, ever. It, he'll, we'll be like doing, this is my buddy, right? The ones that like to fish and golf all the time. And he'll be just like, start whistling a tune. And it's like, I'm like, what are you, what are you whistling? Yeah. And I'm like trying to, I, I, I kind of recognize the tune. I'm like, He's like, oh, that was the the you know from the Crest commercial in 1987. Dude, I was so influenced <laughs> like, by jingles, like, like the what? music, yeah, like, so was like everything. Like, I swear to God, if school was like that, I would remember everything. Like, God. if they just sung to me, <laughs> you know. Okay, trip you on know, this. Like, out. I now, lived in a musical. Or, now, if I you be- paid attention, yeah. I believe I believe yeah. this is in your gene, yeah, right? That. I believe you have this in like so. He he has 
he has his dad who was in a band like his whole life. And so he has he has that gene. And like yeah. he didn't he picked up a guitar when we were like thirty or late twenties. And, and figured it out. Figured it out real yeah, quick. And we, me. There was three of us. We all got. We were all going to start playing, right? And I just we, we I need was, to start a band, dude. I was like, I told them right out the gates. I'm like, I'm not buying a guitar because I I can't. I just do want this. the groupies. I tried. Really? I tried. I tried to play the saxophone when I was a kid. I was like, just I don't have. <laughs> of any. course, you went for the saxophone. <laughs> of course, <laughs> fucking saxophone players, Adam. <laughs> like, uh, I want to be cool, but play something really annoying. <laughs> 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 Fucking terrible instrument. Fuck you, bro. I was like in fourth grade, dude. I was like in third or fourth grade. I wish I wish you played the saxophone so bad. Of course that's the one he picked. Me too. With like shitty sunglasses on and just like a bunch of fog, you know. You know, you know the teacher asked the class, the music class, aren't everybody picking an instrument? And Adam's like which one's the coolest? Yeah, yeah that looks <laughs> so cool. His fourth grade brain <laughs> leaning into the wall. It was a, it was it was what was cool to his fourth grade brain. Yeah. He's like, yeah. oh, saxophones. Yeah. That's a cool one, man. That's uh, the one the chicks want. Well, I, I'm gonna get so. Hundred percent, it was that, bro. It did look cool. You know what I'm saying? That's because I don't even know. I, what am I listening to? Kenny G at that age? What yeah, am I listening to? At least to? he didn't pick the flute. Yeah. Oh, cool. I, I did the yeah. trumpet. That was a good one. Yeah. Did you? You got yeah, that I annoying. I'll tell you, the kinda... trumpet's not that much. It's not that much better, bro. Trumpet's not necessarily cool Any, unless you're in the band or in your yeah, music right really trumpet who you're plays a trumpet nowadays like, like, like mariachi asshole. bands i could have been in a mariachi band yeah and i could have been pretty good oh my I god I been been but i mean so i don't you feel like that's like is so is your is your parent anybody play any yeah, instruments every, like my mom specifically my grandma like See? they, they do all the time on pianos it always runs the and family then, like, like the generation before that we had like uh, a couple of violin, violinists oh. in in ireland that were like World renowned, oh, uh, playing the symphony, and yeah, it's totally like wired. Is, don't you think that's something that's music? Music, yeah, I think there's definitely a, a propensity for uh, and athletic genes too. All of it. All you of see, it. you all see athletic it. genes, and like, you see families. Yeah. How many times do you see an NFL player and his dad play and his uncle? Play? It's like yeah. you've got you got some people. You know, remember when we interviewed Brendan, our uh, buddy, my buddy from uh, Orange Theory, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, uh, I am Badejo. Yeah. <laughs> I am Badejo. Oh, you say it right now. Yeah, yeah, Did I, you practice? No, if I say it slow, I can do it. But if I'm talking fast... Then forget about yeah, it. Yeah, well, you All know right. how that works with me. If I'm yeah. talking real fast. Right. Just, yeah. Yeah. So, he, you so you were going to say, what about him? His kids fit? Uh, no, remember when we did the... He did that test and he actually... Oh, yeah. He he had like 1% of, or one, I think 1% of the population has a, a gene that he has mm. That and the, makes him a, it makes him like basically a, a super, athlete. super athlete. Yeah, like uh, all the people that have that gene are all like on the upper. I feel like sometimes these tests that are these tests are stupid though. Like, did you need to test him for that? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. His brother, well, hey, everybody's I, awesome. Hey, but, Einstein, your genetic test yeah. reveals that you are uh, you genetically hey, for, have a high propensity for, for, so, for you say you say that because of your your experience and your knowledge because this is your field. But if you're a, a normal person, they people don't get that. They don't understand that. I can, and I believe you can. I believe anybody in this room can look at somebody and just see their structure their build their their the way they walk on uh, this person is an athlete mm-hmm. or was or could be if they wanted to be one just because mm-hmm. of the way mechanically they're built and how they move not everybody's like that so it's not as obvious to everybody as it is to you me all of us would be like yeah that's uh i remember when we first started mind pump and i told you guys one of our first episodes so it's recorded so you can't fucking deny it when i said <laughs> Uh, I told you guys for the first time, like, I'm not very athletic at all. I never played, like, traditional sports. And you guys were both shocked. Yeah. You guys both thought I was, like, well, some athlete. you're a muscular dude. Yeah. yeah. So it's not, yeah. E- it's not, you can't always tell. No, no, no. no. It's not like, a, yeah. well, you didn't strike me as, like, a really athletic guy. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah obviously. <laughs> we saw the way, like, you know. Yeah, I yeah, can't have it all. Yeah. You, you, you threw a <laughs> but, baseball. But, you know, a lot of times guys that are really into working out were into sports, too, because it can be kind of yeah, like a sport, true. right? I kind of skewed it a little discipline. bit. Yeah, well, yeah, so you did skew that. For sh- you skew that. And you don't move like someone who I think would be like on, like a Brendan Abadet. When you see the way Brendan moves and walks around, like dude's like forty years old and he's at he's like yeah. he's like a gazelle on the you treadmill. Jump over me, yeah. Like if you ran on the treadmill for me real quick, I could tell you real quick if you were an athlete or not. <laughs> yeah. Just you know what I'm saying. Totally. And I think that. Uh, like, oh yeah, that guy. Yeah. I'm talking about that that level, right? When yeah. you're at that level, it t- it is kind of obvious, but mm. I, I think people don't realize that how much that how that how much that is um, into pro sports. Like until you really understand that, you grasp that, then you go to a uh, live event and you watch, 
you know, NFL players or you watch pro basketball players. I will never forget doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and this dude comes and starts taking the class. He's six foot, like four or five, 300, over 300 pounds. And first class, the the guy's doing judo rolls. He's doing cartwheels. He's doing the fucking, all these crazy (laughs) movements that if you looked at the guy, you're like, no way you're going to do that. He's way too fucking big. He was moving more agile than anybody in the class. After class, I'm talking to him, and he was a pro Canadian football player. Mm-hmm. You, well, even and then you could go the other on the other side of this spectrum too with the the bodybuilders. Like it's so rare, but you every once in a while you see these bodybuilders that can do the splits and like so much of that Athletes. is genetic. Yeah, genetic. Like yeah, yeah. that guy has the ability to not only put on muscle, but look at the kid. That is so an anomaly. Like you do not see people that have that massive of muscles also with that kind of flexibility mm-hmm. unless they are in a genetic anomaly. And mm-hmm. it, people don't realize that mm-hmm. and how much that probably plays in a role of them being able to build and look the way they look. Mm-hmm. Think totally. about that. Bring the genetic bird. Think about it. Chimera Quaz. Today's Quaz is being brought to you by Chimera Coffee. It's the only coffee that is infused with all natural nootropics for a cleaner, calmer, and more focused buzz without the crash. Click the Chimera link at mindpumpmedia.com and input the discount code MINDPUMP at checkout for 10% off. It's the motherfucking quad. The eagle has landed. Quee-quad. Our first question is from M. Jerome 68 What is the most breathtaking experience you have ever had? <laughs> no. Oh, my God. <laughs> This, I, I'm getting all these memories of our old episodes where like Adam was talking about how he's sitting on the back of his pickup truck. <laughs> no, 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 immediately came to mind. You remember that? Yes. No, did it really? Yeah, uh, you remember breath- that when you said I, that? I, I told that story. breathtaking. Yeah, me and Justin were yeah. just we fucking- We were dying. We were laughing the whole yeah. time. We couldn't get yeah. serious in the episode. Yeah. And then you get it was real, so sentimental. You get it was real like sentimental, too much, yeah. and we <laughs> yeah. we just ruined it. We, we, I'm we like, totally. They get mad it. at you for that yeah, too. Yeah, totally. You did get mad a little bit because I'm yeah. getting mad at you right now because that's a really important moment <laughs> in my life. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so much impact on everything. Uh, uh, breathtaking experience. Well, that's <clears throat> okay. Can I mean I'm gonna have to talk. About can't my have kids. your kids. Yeah, I think you shouldn't be able to talk about the kids just because it's obvious to me, right? Yeah. Because I think that's something that's so obvious. Well, that, shit. That, and that has to be your number one. I think you have to come up with something that is. You know, outside of that, I don't even know. Um, I don't even know of a, of a, a moment like that where my. I, if you're looking about something visually or something an experience, because I feel like I have like different ones. Like, well, I have, why don't you go go? Like, I think of uh, a breathtaking uh, moment would be like viewing when we were in Alaska. Like, I'd never seen glaciers in the first place. I'd oh, never yeah. seen something so amazing, so beautiful. Like. So that was, that's breathtaking visually for me. Like it wasn't like this experience maybe that happened to me, but I'll forever remember that because it was that impactful of something that I I've seen I've never seen before, and it's just it's a it's beautiful. Mm. It's I mean we talked about this. Did when you, you have the experience of, of it being breathtaking? Though? Yeah, you know what I mean. By yeah, that? absolutely. And and we I think we talked about this a little bit on a, a show before where you know what is it that because you're it's like I think that what is caused by that is. All day long, we we walk around and you can see, um, you know, only so so much at a time, right? Whatever you're looking at currently, you know, all the way to your left, all the way to your right, and as far as your eye can see forward. And, you know, it's something that you see all the time, all the time, right? And I think that it gets, you get numb to that after a while. And it's, and, and it's like to the point where really most everything we're looking at right now, we've processed this a thousand times already. It's not yeah. a big deal, right? It's nothing special. And I think most of our days are filled with that. And there's few times in life when you're looking out at something and everything in your 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 sight, nothing's recognizable. Mm-hmm. That's breathtaking to me. Mm-hmm. Like that's, yeah. a, that's a breathtaking moment visually because my eyes have not taken in something like this, at least recently in a long time, that is like, who I'm over. Yeah. I, I'm even I get overwhelmed just talking yeah. about it because you can you thinking that yeah. like that's a lot all yeah. at one time. Yos- yeah. Yosemite does that to me every single time. Oh, Yosemite oh, is for sure. Is a every place. single time I go there, I get that effect where where we are driving in the entrance and you see the cliffs and you see the yeah. you know El Capitan and you see you know Half oh, Dome yeah. and you know Bridal Veil and every single it's time so and I've been impressive. there many times now. Yeah. I I stop and I can just just to take it all in. It's almost it's like a drug almost like the way it affects your body. Yeah. You know, uh, in Kauai, oh my God, dude, blew my fucking mind. Yeah. Uh, some of the stuff that I saw over there on the, especially on the on the coast, on the the was it the North Shore? Mm-hmm. Um, on some of those trails the, the over Nepali there. Nepali coast. Nepali. There yeah. you go. Oh my God, like, 
I just kept stopping and looking and I, I remember telling myself like, okay, I got to like keep going. Otherwise I'm not going to go very far on this trail because I keep stopping to just witness this incredible beauty. Yeah. Um, experiences, it's tough because post kids, almost everything I can think about. Well, I think, think maybe try and think of something that I was trying to. Maybe know. before I had. Well, well nature too. works because of what you said. Like for me, even like going to Grand Canyon or something like that, that has just like this massive, this, this monumental visual spectacle like you're trying to take it all in at once but you just can't process all of it because you're you've like atrophied that you know part of you right and so you know i get that like i've had moments like that really from that or i feel like oh my god like if i fell then holy shit you know i would die it's usually like you know i'm also in situations where i feel like you know i could you know i could could meet my maker if i'm you know up this high or i'm you know when else you see this is like when you see like uh moments of brilliance in somebody else Mm. Right, so th- that those are those are breathtaking to us. Sure, sure, right? sure. Right, like I think I I think when <clears throat> I see something happen or I hear somebody talking and it's a this I've never heard that before and that was like whoa yeah you know that stops me in my track activated you right yeah. yeah so that that could be a, a breathtaking moment when I've been around somebody that say said something that was incredibly impactful mm-hmm. that you forever stuck with me years down the road so I'm trying to think of those scenarios. That uh, yeah, somebody doing an impressive feat, you know, like you're in suspense the whole right. time, right? And and like, you saw it, right? Like yeah, you're you like there in the live, like I've I've done that before. Like I, I don't even know. I think it was like drag racing, even this oh, guy. Yeah. Like I was there, like and and I was just in awe of just the raw power and and like just the vibration and the sound and like I was consumed by how fucking fast and ferocious these things, these vehicles they made. It was just like, and I, as a kid, like my dad would take me to these races and I was always just like, so like just uh, speechless and I couldn't even like process it. I was like, ah, you know, you take me in the pits and watch them start the yeah, engines. It's, it's one thing to see something on, on a video and it's another thing to witness it. Like I remember the first time I saw a high level uh, athlete uh, sprint like I'm talking about like someone who's a you know NFL type sprinter if you've ever seen somebody actually run mm-hmm. in front of you mm-hmm. that is that fast yeah, it's crazy it doesn't it's it's almost like it doesn't you have to watch it over and over again because <laughs> you it doesn't understand make sense. what you can't do well you know it's right? even crazier that to me like, that's not human when yeah. you see some of these like professional football players like are linemen that are like Three times your size, so you look at them you're running like, fast, way fast. faster than like you. a bear. Faster than it looks you, like a bear. Faster like, than I could four ever fours, run. Four fives. Yeah. Yes, yeah, like faster than I ever was in my entire life. Like even at my prime shape, when I thought I was fast as fuck, <laughs> you'd never so, be able to touch. I him. wouldn't be able to touch him, and uh, he's three hundred and something. Like that to me is like. Yeah. You guys have you guys yeah, are that is free. Blowing. When you get next to that, it's I've played freak. with guys like that. Yeah, it's freakish. Destroyed me. Wow. Well, we shared that on the podcast a long. Justin, I think shared that story a long time ago when we. We closed the gym off, um, off of Coddle, the the basketball court, yep. and we played the the Niners, right? So I had my all my trainers that were into pl- ba- playing basketball at the time, and uh, some of the Niners, and it was mostly the second string guys. It was Manny Peterson was there? Um, um, Isaac or, Sapawaga. Manny Lawson, yeah, Manny Lawson, Isaac Sapawaga, yeah, then uh, Brandon, whatever the wide receiver guy, and yeah. it was was like fucked almost ten years ago, right? And they they did a five on five, my trainers versus their the Niners, and it was like in the summer or some shit. I don't remember when it was. Yeah, and they were uh, they none of them were like basketball players. None of them were. No, you can see the way they dribble the ball. They just they don't never like. Yeah, but they were so fucking athletic. <laughs> that sucks. They destroyed us. They can so, make it from half so, court and shit. What and was just dunk? I that was a it was really weird for me <laughs> to experience that as like a, a grown adult. Or it's man. like you're with another species. It yeah, was. We were it, like little kids. Because here the, here I am. This is my world, my sport. And you you guys aren't even it's not like you guys are not athletic you're definitely on the no uh, yeah, no, no that's my sport like I'm, I'm good now and and i knew and i could tell by the way they dribbled the ball that they didn't play basketball you yeah. can tell the way a guy holds plays with a ball if he's played ball for his whole life so you could see the way he moved the same way i throw a football right i can throw a football but a guy who's played football his whole life would laugh at me and be yeah. like you throw a football like that you're like yeah. you look different when it's not your sport your whole life so they you could see the way they were dribbling the ball but because they were so fast could jump so much higher it was like we just got dominated. They would just throw the. It was always like one pass and a dunk, yeah. and like it was. Yeah. It was just crazy, dunk, like a fast break. Pointer, yeah, everything like, was a fast matter. break. Everything was a fast break alley oop and like passes. Like hardly ever they didn't dribble the ball. They didn't no. need to. 
No. It was just so <laughs> funny, dude. It was It was a touchdown every time. Yeah, and it was really <laughs> frustrating because I'm thinking like this is really frustrating knowing that I'm getting beat at my sport that I'm better than them like maybe individually of skills like if I saw me dribble the ball then shoot the ball and you yeah. made him do the same things you'd be like okay, this guy over here definitely knows That's why I always like to speculate. I remember that was always a topic of conversation <clears throat> amongst trainers. Uh, it was like if you're going to take an athlete from a different sport and, and and sort of plant them in another one, who do you think would do uh the best? And it was always like an argument over like LeBron James, like bringing him into football. Imagine, you know, right. what, what he would do. And, you know, and you kind of speculate like some of these like super athletes that like if you put them in anything else, they would have killed it too. Yeah, you know? They would. And anything else, they'd especially compared to the average. Like maybe they don't, maybe uh, LeBron James doesn't go to the NFL. Maybe, although I would argue he would, but maybe he doesn't. Yeah. There's but some he that would don't still make sense. be, he would still crush everybody in college. You know what <laughs> well, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, easily. you you see this in like, for example, like uh, what's his name? Uh, fuck, Big Brock Lesnar is an example of this. Yeah. Now he he was a wrestler, but definitely does not have the MMA training of of the top MMA fighters at all. Right, right. Yeah. But he's such a fucking athlete. imposing he athlete. Muscled everybody. Yeah. He's well, he, not only is he strong, he's agile. He's he's a he's an animal. Well, example was his first fight that he lost to Frank Mir. Yeah, was an example. Exactly. He the only way Frank Mir did not get destroyed because <laughs> he was going to yeah. kill him because yeah. he got so lucky he got his ankle and yes. because he had no skills on the ground nope. he wrapped his ankle up and got him. Otherwise, he was going to die. Like yeah. literally, <laughs> yeah. Brock. Yeah. Lesnar was yeah. beating the fuck out of him. <laughs> yes. Now, mind you, that's what mixed martial arts is all about, and that's why Frank Mir is a better MMA fighter. But that, what an expression of athletic raw ability. athleticism, and, yeah, and power, and what how much it becomes such a factor. You know, and then you harness those into some skills. Like yeah. Jesus Christ, you just needed to learn that. Quick commercial break. Hey, people ask us all the time how they can support Mind Pump. Here's what you can do. Uh, you can go to www.brain.fm forward slash mind pump and get 20% off Brain FM for meditation or focus. You can also go to audibletrial.com forward slash mind pump and get a 30 day trial plus one free audio book. Lastly, you can go to getnatureblend.com forward slash mind pump and you will get a discount on Ben Greenfield's CBD product. Next up is Get Your Red. It's no brainer why phones are not allowed in bathrooms, but why do some gyms not allow them on workout floors? Did we just go on a tangent right there off on that last yeah, question? We totally yeah, that was, did that we was, ever end up I, finishing? I, the looked up, I looked up at the questions on the TV right now, and I'm like, wait a second. Uh, Brock Lesnar, how did we get yeah, did we- <laughs> <laughs> breath to angle, breathtaking moments? Yeah. Brock Lesnar, <laughs> whatever. Mo- he is show. breathtaking, though. Our show, we <laughs> talk can't about take that away from him. It's a no brainer why phones are not allowed in bathrooms, but why do some why aren't gy- they in gyms? Why don't they allow them in some gyms? I, I, it's privacy, 100%. I yeah. think there's been enough cases now where perverts take pictures of other people while they're doing, you know, exercises like the adductor machine or. Uh, like the you know, uh, you know, stiff legged deadlifts or something else, and it's just you see these people, you see some of these. So I, the reason why I picked this question, I found it, I found it funny and ironic, right? That we're even, that we even wonder or think about this. We want to have our phones on the on the gym floor to record ourselves and take pictures of ourselves so bad that we even were curious to why the gym doesn't do that. It's very obvious why the gym doesn't do that. Why they mm-hmm. would for like you said privacy reasons cuz and then as a as a company, right? You have to have you have to set the standard for everything. So there's not this like gray area like, "Oh, it's okay if you're filming yourself, you can do it." Sure. But this guy over here who's filming who's acting like he's filming himself but filming this girl's butt while she does, you know, deadlifts, that's okay. And like mm-hmm. how do they police they're, they're not going to Police that they're it's not their job to send 20 30 people on staff to manage weirdos inside the gym so they you you have a standard rule that listen no video no and that's because they've already probably had enough incidents because that rule comes out because they've had an incident probably already happened now you before guys were, with somebody who, who's complained well you guys were working in the big box gyms uh way after i was i left early yeah. on mm-hmm. and i left before cell phones before it became a thing, but yeah. you guys were there when cell phones and pictures. What, did you guys ever have a situation like that where you yeah. saw some dude? You did? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's why I I'm know. Trying that's, to think, yeah. That's why maybe one or two. No, I definitely dealt with this. Really? Would oh you, yeah. What oh, would yeah. you do? Just go up to him and no, you, you. Well, you. Here's the deal. Like until I catch him, like I can't go over there and be like, can't confiscate his phone. I don't have any rights. You know what I'm saying? I'm going on her words unless I got it on camera where I can see that he's doing that. Mm. But now I, I see who it is, and then I'm like paying attention, watching him, and then yeah. when I catch him do it, then you're going to approach someone and say that. 
I didn't catch people. What I got was women complaining about that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. like oh, I feel like he's recording me. I feel mm-hmm. you know he's that always was most of the complaints yeah. is just yeah these creeps you know <clears throat> filming them and right, stuff. And, right. So I, you know there's so all it takes. God, it's changed so much. But because, all it takes is one, right? All it takes yeah. is one, and then a gym like that's going to be like, sorry, you can't no no video. It's no. changed yeah. so much because when I was a kid working out in these big box gyms. Uh, you didn't even have a lot of people even having headphones on. It yeah. was the gym music was what everybody worked out to. Mm. And you definitely get in your zone and you talk, but you still didn't see a lot of Walkman. You saw some, but it wasn't like now where you see all yeah. uh, earbuds. Like nobody yeah. listens to the gym. It's also ear. it's also business reasons why too. Like you can't have uh, people, because then you could technically, if everybody could have phones and could be videoing in there, then it wouldn't stop like Mind That's Pump. It's a liability. Mind Pump could come in and we could shoot a whole video series and documentary yeah, and turn around yeah. and monetize it and we use their facilities to film mm-hmm. all of it and then I didn't get the rights of the people that were walking you by. You have a passing. whole streaming business. You just right. run into like Golds and you're like, hey, I'm here. And right. Today's workout is this. And I'm sure for a, a single normal one person who's going to work out who's not thinking about any of these things is like, well, why the fuck can I have mine? Well, that's I'm sure that's why this question came up, but there that's the reason why it's in place for the entire gym. Have you guys ever had someone take a picture of you? Uh, yeah, I have. Maybe, yeah, 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 I have, yeah I've had actually. people. I've had people photo me or video me while I'm training a client. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, probably because they're they're stealing their ideas. Yeah, I, it, free yeah, training. I've never I've never really worried about, about it unless that. it was yeah. something that bothered a client of mine. But I've never I don't don't know if I've had a situation where I've had it. So I had a situation like this recently where it looked. Uh, I thought someone was taking my picture, but I you know you don't never know for sure. Like, are they really doing that or not? And then mm. they kept looking at me. But then they came over and they recognized me from the show, so they for sure were taking my picture. That's, oh. that's totally oh, different, okay. though. Interesting, but that's totally different. Well, I could, but it that. is a weird feeling. <clears throat> yeah, I can totally relate. Like it is a very uncomfortable feeling to think you because then you second question yourself, you know, you second guess yourself. I should say, like, are they taking my picture or are they just looking at their phone? Like, I feel for people in this. Well, situation. I told I told you what uh, yeah, ca- second question what Katrina said inside the. Um, <laughs> Did I tell you that story where Katrina saw the, the the girls were all standing around and they were pointing out a picture that she had taken of me in the suite that was that right that when we were in there? Did I tell you this? Oh, oh yeah. No, I didn't so know we that. we came in. We were. I, I don't remember who I was with. I was with somebody. I don't remember who I was talking to, but I was sitting on the couches. You know, inside the suite where the the big yeah, yeah, yeah. the leather couches are. So I'm sitting there and I'm talking to um, somebody who I don't remember who it was who was with me. And I, I think we, it was a concert we were at. I don't think it was a Sharks game. And uh, Bruce had told me that, hey, there's going to be a bunch of uh, girls coming in with Amy. That's his girl. And, you know, they have, they're all, someone's birthday. I don't remember whose birthday it was. But there was like 10 of them coming in. And they all come in. And I was talking. It was business talk. And we, I wasn't even paying attention. And uh, Katrina came in later. And she said that, and none of these girls know, Katrina's not, when I'm talking business like that, she, unless she's talking with them about something that we're dealing with, she's not going to come over and butt in. So she was probably off doing her thing over by where all the girls were hanging out watching the concert. And she says they're all like looking at a picture and it's a picture that she had took of me sitting down talking and she was comparing it to like Facebook pictures and all kinds of stuff like that. Did she recognize you? Yeah, that's yeah. so weird. I know. And so she saw it, and then that's she, a trip. Yeah, so she she saw that, and then uh, she didn't tell me till after we got home. Um, and I don't remember how it came up because we were talking about something else that had happened that was similar to that. And she's like, "Oh, I didn't even tell you this happened too inside the." <laughs> well, we are like, E-list uh, celebrities. Now, <laughs> what so. is it? it, was, it was, <laughs> E-list. According to Vinny, we're uh, E-listers. Yeah. Yeah, that was that's awesome. What was his What was his definition of that? Uh, E-list as below D-list. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. I, know, I, I kind of figured that much. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Doug. Yeah. All right, our next question is from Stephanie E. Khan. This is for Sal and Justin. Oh yeah. What do you do? No, what do you put pack? No, I, <laughs> let me change this up. What do you, what do you pack? pack for your kids' school lunches? Oh. Uh, um, so this is a good question because when your kid takes their lunch to school, hmm. they can eat your lunch or not eat their lunch. And mm-hmm. so you got to kind of play this like either you're okay with them not eating the lunch that you pack them or you try and pack I something love, that they like. I love how it's you're compromise. Saying, I love how yeah. this guy's presenting this right now because I know he's trying to be up. so politically yeah. correct. Well, no, it's you can tell us when to say this. Listen, my fucking kids don't eat their their food. Yeah, they don't yeah, get yeah. no food. Yeah, that's <laughs> I mean, pretty much. Well, no, it's it's a, it, this is legitimately a uh, this is a struggle for me too because yeah. I don't necessarily want my kids like if they skip lunch here and there, that's fine. 
but you don't want your kids skipping lunch all the time, especially if dinner is going to be at five or six o'clock. So, uh, you know, I want to make sure that they eat something and I want, but if they don't like it, but it's healthy or, you know, the stuff that they like isn't healthy. So what am I going to do? So what I found is first off for my kids, um, sometimes they do like sandwiches. Now I do get sprouted, uh, sprouted organic, uh, bread because that's the best kind. Uh, they don't, you know, gluten isn't a problem unless you have an intolerance. My kids are totally fine with gluten. They're, they're young, their guts, they're, you know, they haven't done damage to their guts like I did. So sometimes I'll give them sandwiches and in those sandwiches I'll put, you know, turkey, cheese, whatever. Sometimes I'll use peanut butter. Um, you know, my son likes peanut butter and banana sandwiches. For a snack, I'll give them nuts or cheese. Uh, you can buy some good organic cheese. That's a good snack. Mm-hmm. Um, fruit is always an easy snack. That's easy for my kids. If I give them blueberries or strawberries... They're pretty much always going to eat uh, mm. those two things. Yeah, and never do I pack them anything other to drink than water. That's a big one where I see people. Oh yeah, fuck up. I they give their kids juice and shit. I always give them a water bottle. And yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah, no, I give them water every time. How about yeah, um, yeah? For we've gotten a little bit more creative because um, our youngest is um, uh, picky to say the least. But um, you know, we've we've tried to really kind of hack into. Uh, introduce multiple different types of healthy foods to him and see what's been kind of striking a chord with him and um, you know gone through some recipes and stuff and gotten some paleo recipes that were really great and uh, different ways to kind of um, take eggs and and put them in these cups and uh, and add stuff to them that uh, you know have vegetables and kind of have different things in there that's like a little snack bite mm. uh, they're coming up with some really creative things like that that you can kind of pre-make and so you have that ready so it's a bite and so she kind of like Courtney has put together this like awesome sort of system now where it's like you know she can she can make and we, we can help like kind of create uh, you know s- like options like that where we can kind of sneak it in uh, as these bites and then we have them in the refrigerator and then we kind of give it to them. So it's like nice, easy prep. God, doesn't it sometimes piss you off the fucking effort we have to go it's into? It's a lot, dude. It's, it's You almost want to tell your kids like you either fucking she's eat She's a saint, don't. you know? It's like, <laughs> like yeah, it, it, that, that's why it's ebb and flow. And even then, like they don't eat it sometimes. And it's like, oh, you know, all that work and labor that went into that. And like, wow. That's the, that's the part is you got to, yeah. that's a big one. Yeah. Dude, that's, I'm glad you said that because I'll, I'll pick up my kids from school and I'll open their lunch boxes. And then I'll sometimes see the shit that I fucking made oh, for you. It makes you like irate. And you got to you got to not take it personal because yeah. then my instinct is to be like, you're like, going to eat this shit like or you're not out. eating. Yeah. Or you're not, else. Yeah. Or yeah. you're not eating anything else for yeah. today. This yeah. is all you're going to eat. Yeah. But we also got a, um, uh, uh, we actually went in with this other family on a, a, a pig. And so we have like all these like, you know, nice cuts of uh, a pig and, and uh, sausage and everything else. And so it's like, it's great because we get like, all, like, it's usually just like meat, vegetables, and fruit, you know, and that, and then mm-hmm. near the occasional, cause they're going to, they're going to get like all that stuff, you know, going to grandma and grandpa's, you know, oh. I mean? like they're going to get the breads and the, the, you know, cereal and, and like everything the else. Treats. Yeah. So, you know, at least if we, if we're actually putting it together, like it's usually pretty like well thought out. So, so my daughter begs me always, one of her friends must get this shit lunch, which is a Lunchable. Lunchables are shit. It's crackers and bullshit. And it's just yeah, all processed. It's all nonsense. super pratt. It's all fake food. Yeah. And my daughter must, her friends must get it. And it's, of course it tastes good. It's engineered to taste good. And she begs me for Lunchables, like begs me. Yeah. So I'm cool kids. are doing So that. I'm yeah, like, yeah. you know, she did, I don't remember what she did. She did something that was like really good. I was really proud of her and whatever. And so without telling her, I'm like, I'm going to give her a Lunchable, but I'm going to give her like a Sal Lunchable. So I buy fucking organic, you know, so crackers. Oh, you made like a homemade one? Or a homemade one. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. I put it all together. Yeah, that's, that's and great. I buy like way better than the fucking bullshit craft, you know, Lunchables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't touch a single piece of it. No. Oh my God, I would oh. be so mad if you Because did. it wasn't a Lunchable, dude. Yeah. It yeah. Was, now think about it. Hold on that's a second. the power you, of the you, marketing. Hey, you, you should do it. This would be a great test. Put right? it inside the package. Yes. This would be a great. She'll test. know, dude. Yeah, she'll know. She'll know. Let well, me, of course, it, break, it breaks the seal. So let me, so let me, let me give you guys an example because I, at first I got pissed off, but then I tried to remember back when I was a kid, and I remember when my mom would, when I'd say, "Mom, I want to go to McDonald's to get French fries and a cheeseburger," and she'd be like, "Let me make you my own homemade cheeseburger." Now, as an adult, way better, but as a kid, it wasn't McDonald's. 
Yeah. That's what I wanted. There's, I an Eddie Mur- There's an Eddie Murphy skit about that. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're right. It was exactly. Like it's uh, Eddie Murphy raw, right? But I get pissed or off. Hilarious. I'm like, that's not McDonald's. I want a McDonald's one. So yeah. that's what it was. But it's that makes sense. It's difficult. I love giving my kid Mac- uh, macadamia nuts. Is a good one. I want McDonald's. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> my daughter likes macadamia nuts. That's one. Cashews. My son likes cashews. Yeah. Uh, sometimes for a treat, I'll get because I don't want to be like super like you never get anything that's yeah. you know a little off. So sometimes I'll buy these organic trail mixes that have these uh, cacao nibs in them. So it's like dark chocolate, but a little bit of sugar. Mm-hmm. So it's just enough that it's chocolate. Yeah. And I'll pack them that, and then they like that. So a little dark chocolate. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's a struggle, but it's also a practice. So the the, the more consistent you are, the more your kids will start. Yeah, you to- can't be too crazy, you know. Yeah, like you said, you got to add in some some things they look forward to and all yeah. that. And this intermittently. Is a, I really feel like there's, and I don't know because you guys have the obviously a to- total different perspective than I do in this one. So. But I think like a, a guide or a book or someone's got to have something. Do you guys? Do there's, you guys a lot, there's a lot of books out there. Yeah. Is there? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Jerry Seinfeld's wife has great recipes. Yeah. For you, one. You, uh, you actually, you know what? There's an Instagram page. I'm going to give her uh, a shout out now because she's got such a great page. It's uh, let me see what the name of it is. Uh, oh, Holistic Little Sprouts. It's not a massive page. It only has about forty eight hundred thousand, uh, forty eight hundred uh, followers. But she she has great blogs and recipes on there for kids. Actually, I think she wrote like a guide or something called Picky Picky Little Eaters or something like that. Oh wow! Uh, yeah. yeah, but anyway, um, oh, she just great. got you just got yeah, her some that's love. A great, that's a great plan. some love to yeah, your girl right yeah, there. There you go. Her, uh, this is the one you showed me the other day, right? I did. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Quick commercial break, you guys. We keep getting asked all the time, how can I support the Mind Pump family? Here's one of the best ways you guys can. You guys love that Chimera Coffee that we have. Chimera Coffee with a K. You go to ChimeraCoffee.com. Put in the discount code Mind Pump for 10% at the checkout. If you guys have not tried Ben Greenfield's new bars out, they're fantastic. If you want some, go to BenGreenfieldFitness.com forward slash Nature Bite. Put in the code Mind Pump and get 10% off. Go check it out. Next up is Eddie Ofa. What do you believe in that others may find insane? Bigfoot. Do, yeah. do you really? No. Oh, okay. I'm just kidding. Yeah. What do you believe in that other think might other people might think is insane? Hmm. Well, ghosts. <laughs> yeah. Do you believe in ghosts? No. Yeah, you do. <laughs> we, yeah, remember, you do the old, remember the old ghost? Yeah. One we did? yeah. Yeah. That was such a wow. Yes, that was I an old, do. That was an okay. old episode. I believe that, that, that happened to me. Like, <laughs> yes. So I, I guess I have to. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you do because yeah. you had the ghost yeah, story. I, it's one hundred percent happened. Really? So you really think that spirits? People think I'm crazy. Sure. Fuck with humans. Like they just live among us and fuck. Well, with I don't us. know what I think about it. I'm just saying that that's what happens. So I have to, you know. Well, I'm glad. It. You know, what I think it's better that Sal challenges anyone because I think it's gonna be hard for one of us to think of something that we like. I'm trying to think of something that you that you think that's just a little. That's gonna insane. be crazy. Yeah. Oh, easy. Really? Easy. Yeah, easy. I think uh, this is a this is a belief that I have is I think technology is obviously it's advancing at a very rapid rate and will continue to advance at a faster and faster rate. And I think technology is so disrupting and so decentralizing that it will render any government uh, totally obsolete. It'll Nobody's going to give a fuck because you're going to have 3D printers where you can you can easily get the, you know, the download the freaking blueprints to print your own Drugs, your medicines, I think, I think your it's fucking an, I think shoes, it's an whatever. interesting theory. I do. I think. I don't think a, it's going to matter. I don't, everybody's going to try and control everything. I think patents are going to be gone. No one's going to own a patent because a patent's going to be worthless. Mm-hmm. I think the ultra rich are going to seek to seize. It's not. You're not going to have the rich like you have now, where you can patent an idea. I think people are going to be wealthy based on themselves and because people want to see them. But as far as like Nike and Levi's and you know, big brands and Apple computer and whatever, they're going to come out with a technology. Someone's going to easily create a blueprint for it. You're going to print it at your house with your 3d printer, which can print molecules for fuck's sake. You just buy the raw materials, uh, like gun guns. People will print their own guns. Uh, there's going to be technology that'll scan your food. So what you're saying is you need to be in the printer business. You print your own printer. Yeah. Well, what you need to be you, <laughs> no, Whoa. you need to be, you need to be in the business of being in the business of yourself is That's what it. it is. And you know, we talked about Gary V earlier. This is an example of something he's doing really well right now, and why I think so many of the younger generation thinks he's so brilliant because he is. He's he's heading in that direction, and that is the future, I believe, too, of business. Is it twenty years ago? Uh, your biggest companies out there, like okay, Coke, Pepsi. 
you know, Kleenex. Give me, give me a, a person behind. Yeah, who's those. the founders? Yeah. There's no, you know, nobody gives a fuck. I don't, know. Yeah, I don't care yeah, because yeah. I, I, I want a good product. That, it, I'm it gonna was, blow your mind a little it bit. It was, it yeah. was, yeah. it was about something completely different. Yeah. Where now, like, I, I want it to be. I want to connect with the product now, and we yeah. have the ability to do it that. Needs a representative, and this there needs to be a lot of transparency. Yes, in the whole process. You so, are right. You are right. Which is, but now here I'm going to trip you out. I think we're going to see maybe in our lifetimes where they're going to create CGI representatives who are going to become the brand yeah. better than people. I, you're not going to be able to tell. Well, we've already seen that with the video that they can manipulate well, them to think about say this. Well, think about this. Want. Think about this. One of the biggest money industries is entertainment, right? And movies and things like that. Imagine how much money is going to get saved and how that's going to flip this game upside down when we can make CGIs. You'll just well, it li- looks real. You'll license people. You know, instead of paying, you know, <laughs> someone <laughs> You will. You give me a digital pimp. You know, you would. You would license people, and how it's a win for both parties. Like I don't actually have to go work. Yeah. You just pay me because you're going to use who I am. You, yeah. Who I am. Use my avatar. You're going to exactly. You're going to use. And they. We have the. T- we already have the technology to do this. You've seen it in movies already. They're already starting to yeah. do it. Just playing around with it. You're watching it happen. Yeah, I agree with that too. So, it's, so I guess it's not that insane then that I think that. No, uh, I, yeah, I don't. That's a, it, I, I think that's, that's like a, a massive ev- evolution in the future. Uh, or I, maybe I, I just sold it too well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, but I mean, I know there's people it's, that it makes are logical. There, sense. I'm sure there's people that think that's crazy, but I'm yeah. with you on that yeah. one. Do you guys on this, have any? Crazy? We're on the same crazy boat together yeah. then on that one because that's. Yeah, like. Uh, well, you think the world's flat? That's a yeah, big one. Yeah, I do. I, I, definitely, <laughs> I definitely think we live in a dome and the universe revolves around us. Oh. Um. Yeah, no, I, I, like I want to go back to kind of the ghost thing. I don't know why. Like, I just want to kind of like visit that because <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to rationalize the fact that like your theory with with how we receive signals. Yeah. So my theory more with that is that um, there's there's something that like some kind of transmission that you know each one of us gives off, like just mm. existing, right? So. Um, let's, where does that go? You know, where does that go when you die? And like, where, like, who knows? Like it's maybe, like you're, maybe still in the atmosphere, you know, maybe it's well, just something it's like, like you, you're picking up a radio it's signal. It's like a radio signal. Yeah. So that's, I feel like that's what happened. I feel like it was like a, an interesting Could like be. signal that came through the speaker at, at that moment in time that was kind of weird. How much did you, interacted with me. How much did you love the movie Frequency? Did you watch that like, movie? I love that movie. Yeah, yeah, it, was, it, was it was a great, great movie, was a great movie yeah. right there. Yeah. Along, along those lines, you know. It made, made a bit of sense to me. Well, so. it could, it, or it could also be that, you know, we experience time being this linear, you know, past, present, future thing because that's how our brain perceives it. Mm-hmm. But we know through science and through study that it doesn't really work that way, that sometimes it's, it warps, it slows down, it speeds up, and sometimes it goes backwards and whatever. Yeah. Maybe it's just... Sometimes you're perceiving time as it is, which is all at the same time. It's all happening right now. <sighs> all there is is yeah, yeah. Like that's I a hard was one in the room with that thing. Yeah, yeah. that's a lot. Ugh. That's a lot to swallow. That's, that's a good one. I think that's 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 for something that I don't know. I don't. I'm the probably. I feel like I'm the craziest out of all of us. But I don't. Huh? I don't. Yeah. Just. I think how, I'm how so? Yeah. How are you? The like craziest? maybe my, my own my own personal uh, beliefs on myself and how I do things or how I act. Like I think I'm the craziest like that and like hard headed about things. But I can only just know. experiment the most. But I don't know. <laughs> there's a, if oh, I have yeah. a I have a belief oh, yeah, yeah. that p- other people would think I'm insane. I'm I'm really trying to dig deep here and find something. I'm sure there is, but I can't. Hmm. You throw me a bone here, dude. Yeah, like, I, I don't can't, know. You can't think of anything that I, if I ever told you something, you're like, "That's you really believe that, bro?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I I had to be honest. Like I don't. We tease Justin about the ghost experience, but that's uh, the only one really I can think of. That. Do you guys Do you guys have any superstitions, or do your do any of your family members have superstitions? Hmm, like what? Give me an example. Well, like, I don't you know. call him. You call him out all the time about feeling the energy when he's gambling and stuff like that. Yeah. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah. There. Okay. Here you go. And okay. You, you do. Believe oh, okay. In that, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, this was where people were thinking. Okay. Good one. See, I knew. I, knew, I knew I had one in there. With, come on. So, I save you all the time. Uh, I definitely believe I. I can pick up on uh, the energy in a room and the energy from people. And what I mean by energy, that's a word that I'm using because I can't define it. Right. I don't know what the fuck that is, but I can feel uh, all the people. Like I can sit in a room and I can just be like, and I, and I can change it. And I, by the way, I, I talk whether I'm, sure. uh, you know, that's not crazy. Right. I don't, <laughs> no, there's nothing insane it's about good. that. <laughs> your literally, your brain is receiving so many signals based on your environment that you don't, 
consciously perceive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And many of them are, are they're imperceptible, they're they're subtle, but it's the way people are sitting, their well, body, body language, language yeah. their eye movement, right. their and I think, cues. And I think I can And you'd be like, wow, people are tense or the energy feels bad, but you're yeah. just picking up on something. Yeah, and I feel like I can I can process at process it at a faster rate and and it's more obvious to me. So when I try to explain What some, may be insane <laughs> is your level of self belief. <laughs> 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 I think you have it. I think you that, guys are tied on that one, dude. I don't know what you're talking that's about. A good com- that's a good competition. Hey, yeah, Justin's the tiebreaker on that one yeah, for sure. Yeah, he, yeah, he you guys you. are neck and neck, bro. <laughs> in our, in yeah, our self belief. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Like, I'm going to be great one day. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm starting to believe it. I'm so you glad. know what I mean? That took a I'm long so, time. I'm so glad I have You added, guys have been closing me for like team. three years. <laughs> I am great. I am great. Like can every we, day. Can we talk about what Sal did yesterday when we were. What was was it the pizza? What was it you you when you fuck with Justin and you you, oh, tried, yeah. you were trying to get something for him so you told him that it was you always listen to two him times. Oh what, yeah, what, you what, fucking what was get it? in my head. First, you guys were getting pizza and I'm like uh, Justin, you want it's something like that? Like you just, why do you, you want to go? Why don't you go with me? We'll eat over here and you're like no no I think I'll. Like you always do what Adam says, and then <laughs> and then you were in you line. Always go with Adam. You know what's so cool about that is that something that like when you were like 12 years old. Like and you were all friends and you all went somewhere and you did something like, and you wanted to you wanted you wanted your friends to go that way and the other one did you would do you would say something like, like that yeah exactly like there was literally this little quarrel but the yeah. best part about it is it did fuck with Justin a little bit because when <laughs> oh, you guys were like, alive I was trying not to do what you're saying yeah you know? and then I was trying not to do what Adam was saying and I'm like I'm ah, I'm getting pulled all over the place well we were in line for the you know for the air, uh, airport when we had to get the scan or what scanned in or whatever. And you oh, guys that's that what line. it was. It started the line. And thing. I'm like, Justin, this line's faster. And I was fucking yeah. with Justin. He's like, and you're like, no, I'll stay. I'm like, oh, just because Adam's over there. <laughs> Ju- Justin literally stood like, in the no, middle I of both lines. No, I made the right lines. decision. Yeah. You stood in between both lines because you're like, I'm not yeah. going in any line. Yeah. And <laughs> like then a I second. was like, just because Sal said that, I'm stink over here. And then like, after that, point. you kept fucking with him. You fucked yeah. with him on the pizza. And I made the right decision. And then you fucked with him when we were getting in the airport. We were sitting down on our chairs. We are going to sit down. You're going to sit over here. I'm like, no, here, sorry. Trying to pull that reverse psychology shit on mm. me check it out go to youtube subscribe to our channel mind pump tv we post a new video every single day every day every day also uh 30 days of coaching for free it's available at mindpumpmedia.com go on there and check it out thank you for listening to mind pump if your goal is to build and shape your body dramatically improve your health and energy and maximize your overall performance check out our discounted rgb super bundle at mindpumpmedia.com The RGB Super Bundle includes MAPS Anabolic, MAPS Performance, and MAPS Aesthetic. Nine months of phased expert exercise programming designed by Sal, Adam, and Justin to systematically transform the way your body looks, feels, and performs. With detailed workout blueprints and over 200 videos, the RGB Super Bundle is like having Sal, Adam, and Justin as your own personal trainers, but at a fraction of the price. The RGB Super Bundle has a full 30-day money-back guarantee, and you can get it now plus other valuable free resources at mindpumpmedia.com. If you enjoy this show, please share the love by leaving us a five-star rating and review on iTunes and by introducing Mind Pump to your friends and family. We thank you for your support, and until next time, this is Mind Pump.